Hello, this is Evolve MacGyver, and today we're taking a look at the Klein Tools Folding Flick Blade. I'm really careful to say flick blade because it's awfully close to spelling of some other word that I use a lot, which I won't say on the channel, but it's F L I C K B L A D E. Made by Klein Tools, so it's for like professionals, like electricians. That's who they have in mind, I think, is electricians. Um, but other than that, it's just a utility blade with a driver on it, and it's got a couple of cool features about it. So we'll take a look here. So the casing here is plastic. See, I got a little bit dirty already. It's got, this is the lock and unlock for the utility blade to uh, let it whip out or flick out. The driver at the top, you just pull out to get it out, and I'll show you some features about that shortly. It has a really nice, strong pocket clip. It's got a lot of tension to it. Um, also has a lanyard hole if you need it. And there's the driver end, so we can take a close look at that. And there's a little bit of chipping kind of at the top of the utility blade, make it a little bit more comfortable and safe to hold. So how do you open this? It's not assisted. It's not an assisted opening, so it's not a spring opening. Uh, what you're going to do, it's real easy. Sorry, sneeze there for a moment. So what you're going to do is you're going to press down this button here and just let it drop. Now, cool thing about this is, if you just wanted to open it, you know, let go and open it, pull it out manually if you like, the first place it will stop is there. That's 135 degrees. So if you need to get into drywall or your taking care of something that you need to on an angle like that, where you get more grip, almost like almost like a pistol grip kind of thing. Um, you have 135 degrees. And if you press the button again and push, it'll go to 180 degrees. So 180, 135 degrees. And of course, you can click this open and close as many times as you like. Now, a little Thing here to notice it has a wire stripper you can put your wire in there and strip it of course you have a regular utility blade and this button back here is how you unlock it you press the button on that side just press it lightly and pull the blade out now this is a Klein tools one um, I typically use Lennox blades on my stuff just because they seem to work better for me but that's it so Take another look. It says J10 there. I don't know what that means. I don't think it's a model number because there's this other one here, 44304. I believe that's the model number. All you do is you press this lightly, the button right there. I'm trying to be careful because I can't actually see where my hand is. The camera's in the way. Just press and it comes right out. Unlike some of the Gerber products I've done. So that's pretty solid there. Let me go close this, and there we go. On the back side, you open this up, 90 degree. You have, I think it was 135 degree, 180 degree. So that's kind of cool. You have the ability to move that out. However, there's some good and bad about that. And I want to bring that to your attention before you decide to try to fiddle with it a lot. All right? So in this position, and there's some flex because it's a regular quarter inch drive bit. This is a Phillips PH2 quarter inch driver bit, which comes with it. And it's impact rated. So you can actually use an impact gun if necessary. And then there's another one there. So that's kind of cool. So it's pretty much just an extension. And then there's a, that. Um, you can use longer screwdrivers. So if you had a longer uh, a longer bit, you can use it. It's, it work, it'll work just fine. Let me put these back together. Now you'll notice on the inside, let's see if I can zoom into that so and get this to focus properly. It's a liner lock, so you need to press it in in order to be able to close it. Now, there's a couple of problems with this. So, when you're at 90, it doesn't lock at 90. It 
has a predetermined stop that I mean if you hold it like this would probably be fine but nothing locks it in place of that amount when you go to the next one 135 degree or so whatever that actual amount is same thing nothing locks that in place it's, it's not that seems to be right with 180 degree I have trouble with this tripod hold on for a moment Sorry, I'm having troubles with this new tripod. It's, yeah, I must not have something tightened that keeps collapsing here a little bit. Um, so, nothing holds it there. Like, that seems to be the end of where that little function here is before you go to 90. So, nothing really holds it in place. But once it's in this position at 180, it's locked. It's not going anywhere. Got a little bit of side to side flex, but that's. That's because of the extension. Otherwise, it's solid. So it seems that it only locks really in one position. Everything else is kind of just a bonus for where that little bearing on the inside reaches. So as long as you're careful and not actually stab yourself with it, you can do uh, the, the 90 and 135 out of the driver. So that's kind of cool. Um, obviously it takes regular blades. It's nice and easy to open. You can open it left-handed or right-handed. Of course I can't. Every time I need to do this on camera, I can't. There we go. Um, so you can do this on either side. The clip does not look like it's reversible. So I see two screws there and then the big one and the small one underneath. There's the big one and the small one underneath. And it doesn't have revision to move the clip as needed so mostly a right hand person tool but you can open and close it with your left you just gotta have stronger fingers than I do and that's about it so it's a cheap blade it's about I think I bought this on sale at Lowe's for about 10 bucks 10 or 12 bucks something like that uh, typically it goes for about $20 on Amazon and there will be a link in the description to Amazon if you're interested in it um, I'm not affiliated with Lowe's, so I'm not going to put a Lowe's um, affiliate link because I don't work with them and for things I've done in the past. But um, keep an eye out. Uh, Lowe's already had one sale on this already for really, really good price. Um, or you could just get it from Amazon if there's no Lowe's home improvement near you. Um, they do see them go on sale on uh, Amazon quite often. So if you use like a product like Honey that searches prices for you and checks them when they hit certain pricing, that might be an option for you. So that is it. So questions or comments, leave them below, and I will answer them as best I can, and as soon as possible. That may take a couple of days. Um, it's getting longer and longer for me to answer things, because I have hundreds of messages to go through. But I'm working on it. And that's really about its overall length that way. It's pretty light. Um, I don't have the actual weight on it. Uh, overall length is six and a half inches. It tells me in the item description that it's 0.32 pounds. So we got about six ounces, something like that. Um, it's not bad. It, it's not. It's not a horrible tool. Uh, so if you just need something quick and reliable, and you don't mind the driver being a little on the weird side, this will be fine. We'll just throw this in. Maybe emergency toolkit in the back of the car. It's actually the other reason I got it because it's orange. It's easy to see. So if I have to cut like a radiator hose or open up a radiator clamp or whatnot, I'll just have a basic driver bit set with me. And now I have an extra tool as needed to fix the car on where I'm stuck. Um, so that is it. So thank you for watching. Questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to keep bringing out more multi-tools, flashlights, and other odd items um, for a very long time. Thank you for watching, and have a glorious day.